Welcome to Bo and Kirsten's Backcountry Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my go-to elk meatball recipe. It's so easy and it's very versatile. So let's get right to it. Today I am going to be using some meat that we processed ourselves from our last year's elk. And next season we will show you how to process this if you have any interest in it yourself. So I'm gonna, if I can find the end, I'm gonna put this into my bowl. And then for seasonings, I have a half cup of Parmesan cheese that's freshly grated. I have a third cup of breadcrumbs. I have a teaspoon of pepper and salt and a teaspoon of garlic powder as well. And then a teaspoon of seasoning salt. So all of those to go in. Got two tablespoons of dried parsley. If you're using fresh, you'll use a fourth cup instead and a teaspoon, up to a teaspoon of oregano. So that will be up to you. We're gonna crack one egg in there. And then just because I don't wanna be completely covered in meat juice, I'm gonna put on some gloves to mix it up. So we're gonna just mix this until it is all just barely combined. There's no reason to really knead it to death. Just wanna get it all in there. If you're using hamburger, at this point, you'll be all done adding all of your seasonings and extras. But because I'm using elk, it has a, a lot less fat in it. The fat content is so much lower. So we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this as well. It doesn't matter what oil you use, actually. You could use olive oil, you could use um, avocado oil, sa safflower, regular vegetable oil, anything would work. All right, so we're gonna put like a tablespoon in there and keep mixing. All right, we almost have it all incorporated. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my pan. You wanna use a really good non-stick pan or a cast iron pan for this because meat so easily burns the bottom. Also, we wanna make sure to use a high heat oil. So this, what I'm using here today is an avocado oil and it has a 500 degree um, smoke point. You could always, all, you could use a safflower oil as well. And um, it has a high, I think it's a, a refined safflower oil, but all the oils will say it right on the front what their heat capacity or range is. You wanna use a high heat for this. Now that we've got that all mixed up, put our avocado oil in there and we just want to have enough to completely coat the bottom. So that might seem like a lot, but it's just to keep our meat from sticking to the bottom. Get our pan turned on here, there we go. We wanna do um, a medium or, or a, a low-ish temperature, because we definitely don't want anything to burn here. And then with an ice cream scoop, this is my cheating method, you can also just use a regular spoon or your hand and make little rolls. That would be fine, but with this, it makes it so simple and fast. I'm just gonna use my little ice cream scooper, make sure to press it into a hard ball so that it doesn't fall apart in the pan. We'll get all of these put in there. I've also used this recipe for a lot of other variety of things. You can make it into a meatloaf, uh, which is really yummy. Anytime I make them larger than meatball size, I stuff them with mozzarella cheese. I'm not gonna do that today because stuffing meatballs <laughs> takes a very long time, but it's so yummy. Uh, but meatloaf, you can stuff it with mozzarella. You can do um, like a hamburger patty out of it. And then it goes with spaghetti and meatballs. It will go with potatoes and gravy. It's very versatile. And because it has a little bit of that garlic powder and some other seasonings, if your meat is a little bit gamey, it will help to hide that a lot. If you have extremely gamey meat, I would recommend using fresh garlic and double it. This elk was processed really quickly, Bo and I processed it in a really good time frame. It didn't sit around in any heat. Um, and it is processed with about 20% pork. So it does have a little bit of extra fat in it. All right, now that we have all of our meatballs put into our pan, we are going to put a lid on it. 
We're gonna let it continue to simmer on low. We're gonna flip them at least once. If they're nice and round, you can flip them three or four times, but I usually just like to let them kind of steam in there. Another option is you can add your sauce at this point if you want to and completely cook them on sauce on low if you want. That's not usually my preference because I'm kind of weird. I want to make sure that they're completely done, but it's, it's up to you. So while those are cooking, I'm going to clean up my workspace. We're going to let them cook and we'll come back to them when they're done. Now that our meatballs are almost completely done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and put my sauce on top of them. It will incorporate the flavor a little bit and also heat up the sauce at the same time. Much better than putting it in the microwave and having it pop all over. You can use any kind of sauce that you want, your favorite red sauce, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just add that in and let it heat up. So just to, just to clarify, you can use any meat that you want. You can use beef, you can use deer, elk, buffalo, whatever kind of meat you have. Today I've used one pound of elk burger with 20% uh, pork shoulder in it. But this recipe works with anything that you've got. It's really easy. So we're gonna turn that off so we don't burn it on accident. And you can prepare, you can, <clears throat> You can use any kind of pasta that you want to. Today I made angel hair pasta. Get a couple of those meatballs. Mmm, smells so good. Some sauce. A little extra cheese on the top. And that's it, it's so simple. It takes about 20 minutes start to finish. It's a quick dinner idea. Try it out, see if you like it. I'm pretty sure you will. Next time on our Backcountry Kitchen, we're gonna be talking about how to clean our cast iron now that we've used it. Maybe if you burn something on it, we're gonna compare and contrast many different ideas about how to clean it, what works, what doesn't, and maybe even talk about which pans we like and which ones we don't. So catch us our next video. We'll see you next time.